now you are there on the bicycle now also okay first what you did a bicycle was there standing in front of your house you started pedaling it so it came into motion okay first thing is very clear now second thing you you applied brake and the bicycle stopped that means now you know the second thing now third thing you again started pedaling and this time you are pedaling faster okay you are pedaling it faster that means what is happening now very simple when you pedal it more when you are applying when you are pedaling it faster that means you need to apply more force and when you apply more force that means what will increase children the speed of your bicycle will increase isn't it so now a force can this is a third effect a force can increase the speed of the moving body okay so a force can increase the speed of the moving body okay what you did now you are pedaling with a greater speed when you pedal the uh, when you when you are pedaling with a greater speed that means what your speed of pedaling is increased so automatically the speed of the bicycle also get increased okay now this is the first example of this now second example of the same thing children when you uh, when a ball is there in front of you okay okay you often you i know everybody in india loves to play cricket okay every time whenever you play it is not a four or six isn't it sometimes you are not even you are not even able to take one run or sometimes you take two runs but sometimes you hit the ball so badly that it goes for the four it goes for the six now what is happening children the speed of the ball is increased why because the amount of force which you have applied is more isn't it when you apply little force the ball covers a little distance when you apply more more force then the distance which is covered by the ball is more certainly the speed of the ball is also more okay when you this is a second example now third uh, you don't drive a car okay but when your father drives when your mother drives what she does when she has to increase the speed she is, she what, what she does or what your father does they have to press the accelerator again the more force is applied and the speed get increased isn't it so when the force is greater then the speed will also become more isn't it so pedaling with high speed increases the speed of the cycle or the bicycle whatever you want to write okay again you can you know have you can write many examples in that that when you accelerate your car then the speed get increased when you throw the ball when you hit the ball okay even when you play football when you kick the ball properly then it cross it covers more distance in comparison to when you kick the ball slower isn't it so this is a third effect see all you are only doing isn't it now we will talk about now we'll talk about the fourth effect okay fourth effect now a force can even change the direction isn't it a force can a force can even 
चेंज द डिरेक्शन of the moving body okay how a force can what i have written a force a force can even change the direction of the moving body okay you just take an example of you know sometimes uh, like you know you might have seen or might have done take one string okay take one string this is your string okay and here you can tie a stone to that okay you can tie a stone to that and you know you might have seen it somewhere you might have done it somewhere you hold it from here and you rotate it in this way okay you rotate in this way see you are rotating it so how it is going it is going in this motion isn't it see it's not exactly circle because i have started from i have just started randomly okay so when you rotate a body what you have to do take one string at the end of the string just tie one stone okay smaller one now you rotate it in this way okay now what will happen children just name this a b c d just see within every second the direction of this rotating stone mm, stone not stone stone is changing isn't it so what is happening children now a force is applied okay a force is applied and that is the reason the what the direction of this stone is changing it is here then here then here and then here 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 and then again here and it will change in every second it's so fast when you rotate a stone it rotates it goes very fast that means when you apply a force the direction can be changed within a second also isn't it so this is also a very good example now second thing when someone is driving a car and just turns the steering okay it is straight and when you turn it that means you have applied the force okay again there are many things engine is also working okay then again the direction of your vehicle get changed a very best example which you all know which you all understand when you fail to change the direction of the bowler then what happens a bowler is there you are playing cricket and bowler is bowling okay that means the ball is coming here you are supposed to hit the ball obviously in the opposite direction to you okay in the direction of bowler itself when you miss the ball when you are missing the ball that means it the ball hits your stumps okay that means what you are bowled you are out isn't it that means what is happening whenever you play cricket okay whenever you play cricket as a batsman then what you have to do you have to change the direction of the ball which is coming to you isn't it a ball comes to you you hit the ball with the help of your bat bat and then what happens it goes sometimes maybe four sometimes for the six sometimes maybe for just single isn't it so what you are doing you are applying the force with the help of the bat isn't it the bat is in your hand and you stri- you just hit the ball in which direction just opposite to the ball the bowler's direction isn't it the ball came in this way you are hitting the ball just opposite to this by applying force you change the direction of the ball and thus what is happening how and what can we say that a force can even change the direction of the moving body now what is moving body in this case moving body is stone when you rotate it what will happen it will be rotated and within every second the direction will be changed okay 
Now, second what we discussed about when you play cricket as a batsman you have to hit the ball and you have to hit the ball in the direction just opposite to the bowler for the 4 or 6 that means when you apply force again your ball is going in the different direction which it was before from what it was coming to you. So what is happening you are changing the direction of the ball that means you are changing the direction of the moving body very simple isn't it. For starting force you need to just remember about the cricket, the football, hockey isn't it. Take the example of football ball has come to you it is coming in this direction and you hit it in the other direction isn't it. Take the hockey it is possible for this thing you are hitting, hitting in the same direction but the cricket is the best example where you strike the where you uh, hit the ball in the opposite direction ok. You talk about uh, you know uh, when you uh, when you are applying the force then what is there the direction gets changed this is the third oh no fourth point fourth effect of the force now I will just write the example of this a batsman hits the ball and the direction of the ball changes ok this is our fourth point from here to here is our first point first second third fourth now there is no place but still I will try to adjust I will talk about fifth point now ok now see you all have seen your mama making when she makes chapati what does she do she take a small bowl not your ball ok a small uh, little amount of dough ok and then she rolls it ok she rolls it she make a small ball and then with the help of the roller pin she uh, makes it you know the she presses it she rolls it and earlier it was this much only but then when she started rolling it it got, it got converted into a big chapati is not it. This is a very first example that when we apply force the shape is changed ok. Now take the example of the sponge ball, sponge balls or even the sponge is not it sponge which is used to clean the water. If you if you you know if you press the sponge ball it will be pressed the shape will be changed. If you press the balloon sometimes you know to make the now suppose this is a balloon you can twist it from the between ok and then twist it in the opposite direction you will find that the shape of the balloon is changed is not it. Then take the example of the sponge the cleaner the from which we clean the water. So when you uh, put it in the water you try to absorb it when you try to clean the water ok and you keep the sponge into water it will absorb and when you wrinkle it ok when you when you squeeze it what will happen it will like the shape will be changed is not it. So what can I write force can force can change the shape and size. Now think about few examples where when the shape can be changed shape we have discussed squeezing a sponge squeezing of a sponge ball even when you talk about rolling the chapati ok the shape is changing the shape is changed now ok and even the size is changed it becomes bigger it becomes different ok take the example of a spring ok. 
okay take the example of spring in normal case it will be like this this much only but when you stretch it when you stretch the spring okay earlier your spring was say from here to here but when you stretch it it will be like this and the turns which are there will be apart from each other isn't it take the example of normal rubber band you all have seen rubber band rubber band is a very small this much but when you stretch the rubber band it what, what is happening the size is changed the shape can also be changed when you keep on twisting it okay you can put it on anything you can put it on a rectangle thing also a square thing also so what is happening the shape and the size is changed okay just take an example that you have a metal uh, coin sort of a thing okay sheet and when you hammer it okay when you hammer a metal sheet what will happen the shape and the size of that metal sheet will be changed isn't it when you will hammer a metal coin when you will hammer a metal piece the shape as well as the size of that metal coin will change isn't it so what is the fifth point that force can change the shape and size of any object of there is no place to write now and so I left it of any object ok what can be the examples over here a spring I am not writing as there is no place over there but a springs size and shape changes ok again when you apply force on the rubber band the size and the shape get changed ok so these all are examples of changing the shape and size even you know if you have a stick in your hand ok and you try to bend it when you bend a stick so what will happen it, the stick is straight when you are applying it will get bent it will come into any other shape maybe A maybe V isn't it so when you are applying force on a stick to bend it or to break it the shape and size will be changed ok so that is the reason what we can say is the force cannot be seen ok we cannot see force but we can feel force how can we feel force children take an example when you are riding your bicycle and when the wind is blowing very hard and you have to go in the opposite direction to the wind you can feel the force isn't it you can feel the force of the pressure uh, you can feel the force of the wind isn't it and if the wind is blowing in the same direction where you are supposed to go again you will enjoy the what you can enjoy the force why because the motion of wind will support the motion of your bicycle it will become very easy for you to ride your bicycle it will go along with the flow of the wind so you can feel the force and you can see the effects of the force ok so to begin with what we did till now whenever whatever activity is done it needs the force without applying force you cannot do anything you take example of stretching of rubber band stretching of uh, uh, this one spring or you know ringing a bell or moving a body anything if you want to do anything that means you need to apply force ok and so when we apply force generally what we are doing even in case of ringing a bell what we are doing we are just hitting it towards the bell, bell that uh, stick is being uh, you know moved towards the bell so that it goes and hit the bell and the sound is produced isn't it so for doing various activities either we are pulling or we are pushing and so how did we define the force that a pull or push is force then some examples we took where we understood that 
due to force the object can come into motion and so then we define force as a force is an influence due to which a body which is in resting position or is in stationary position comes into motion. Then we saw that force cannot be seen but it can be felt and the effects can be seen. So what are the effects of the force children? There are five effects of the force. First one a force can bring a stationary thing into motion that means if thing is not moving and you apply force to that thing that substance that body it will come into motion. Now second is what just vice versa to that if you apply force to a moving body it will stop is not it. Now take the example when you apply brakes then what will happen due to the force which is being applied on the pedal uh, and on the brakes your vehicle will stop your bicycle will stop is not it. Third one what is there you can change the speed of a moving body that means when you start pedaling more your speed your, the speed of the bicycle will increase and thus we can say that due to or when we apply more force the speed will be more is not it. Now what is the next one next one is a force can change the direction you are sitting in a no easy manner you are sitting in an easy manner and your friend comes and you he gives you one so what happens you know automatically your face turns this side ok just try it so what is there if you have, even if when your friend is sitting very easy and normal just go and give one so what will happen I am just joking ok so your the, the face the direction will be changed so when you apply force the direction changes ok and I have written your moving body so why I have written your moving body because when the things are moving then we can change the direction the direction will be changed so here I took the example of the what that I was per, that a child has taken one string and then has attached a tied a stone at the end of one uh, uh, side and he starts rotating so every point every second the direction is getting changed now there was the next one force can change the size and shape of the body when you uh, when you you know sometimes you might have seen the ball gets broken even the sometimes I have seen even the beds get, the bed getting uh, you know beds uh, get broken ok so the stumps uh, breaks. So, when the force is more then what happens the shape and size gets changed. So, here we took the examples of spring, rubber band, sponge ball ok. So, all these are the effects of the force. Now, what is clear from this? Now, if I want to make one definition of force then how can I make? Now, in this situation when I know all the five effects of the force what can I say a force is an influence which is applied to bring a stationary substance into motion or to bring a body uh, to bring a moving body into stationary position or to change the speed of a moving body or to change the direction of the moving body or to change the shape and size of the body. So now because we know the effects so what what the force can do ok what are the effects of force what is force so these all are the effects of force and so the capability of force is what to bring the stationary thing into motion to stop the motion to bring the uh, to increase the speed of the moving body to change the direction of the moving body or a body and to change the shape and size of the body all this is what force ok. So, first definition was what if you remember a force is something which is used to use in pushing or pulling a thing is not it force is what just a pull or push second definition again we wrote that it is an influence due to which the stationary things comes into motion but now we all know the effects of the force and now I will make one definition I will write over here 
So, how can we define a force? I have not rubbed this part because this will be there. A force can bring. So, a force is something, okay, which can bring. So, a force is an influence. which brings a stationary object into motion Okay, now what I am doing? Just combining all the five facts. Okay, a force is n. This is n children. A is big and n is very small. A force is an influence which brings a stationary object into motion. Now, just opposite to this, or can bring a moving body. to rest okay again third point what is there or again I will write here or can change now I will mingle all the points okay can change the speed direction Okay, shape or size of the body, isn't it? Okay, now have a look. A force is an influence, a force is an influence which brings a stationary object into motion or can bring a moving body to rest. Or can change the speed, I have put a comma over there if you can see, speed, direction, shape or size of the body, okay. Now, this is what, okay, so this is what the new, like we know now the effects and can write this definition of force, okay. Now, if we want to move to the next point, now. The effect of force, okay, what we have studied, we have studied effects of force. Now, effects of force should also depend on something, do you feel that? Now, effects of, effects of force. Now, effects of force, why I have written again? It depends upon, okay, it depends upon effect of force, it depends upon now how much see first thing how much force is being applied, okay, how much force is being applied, I will explain you how much. force is being applied and second thing in which direction in which direction does the force is applied. Now, we will talk about this. See, we read what is force, okay. Can we see force? No, but we can feel and we can see the effects of the force. Now, what we are studying children, that when I am saying we can feel or we can 
you know the effects of the force can be seen. So, does it like the does effects depends upon something see children first I have written how much force is being applied. Now, I am trying to pull this blackboard out and I want this blackboard to fall over there ok and I am pulling it you believe me trust me even if I try my level best I would not be able to move this board why that means the what I am saying how much force is being applied is not it effect of force if a big sumo comes over here ok and he tries and he pull the board and he throws over there. So, you can see the effect of force ok. So, when you want to see the effect of force then the force has to be applied in that amount is not it. That means, if I want to remove the board from here that much of force has to be what has to be applied then only this board will come out. Okay, if I keep on removing this for the whole of day even a whole of my life I would not be able to remove this because I cannot apply that much of force which is required to remove this board from here and to lift and to throw it over there is not it because I do not have so much of energy and thus the force that will be applied by me to remove this black board will be quite less which is required to remove this black board and to throw over there I would not be able to lift this black board is not it. Now, if I want to drink if I want to drink water is not it I will take a glass and I will drink why because I am able to lift the glass is not it. So, what is the effect of force I am able to lift the glass is not it what is the effect of force that I am able to lift the glass and I had water now good it is take care that means how much of force is being applied a big box is there ok you got a big box somewhere which has got lot of money in that that money is in the form of coins gold coins silver coins and the thing is that you can get the money only when you are able to lift that. So, what if you are able to lift that box then only the thing is there is not it. See in simple words children whenever you want that you have to see the effect of force you want the work to be done that means you need to apply force according to the requirement is not it. Now, second come to the second one children in which direction does the force is applied again this is very very important thing children that in which direction the force is being applied. Now, just now I discussed a example an example uh, saying that if you are riding a bicycle and wind is blowing just opposite in the direction of your movement then the, the energy the force which is required to ride a bicycle will be more ok. And then second also I have said that if the wind which is blowing is in your movement ok is in the direction of your movement you are moving towards the east and even the wind is blowing towards the east that means it will be a fun for you to ride the bicycle because that much of force is being applied by the wind and then you do not have to apply force because already wind has so much of force it is applying force on you and your vehicle is moving your bicycle is moving is not it. Now, take the example of a box ok take the example of a box you are trying to push it ok you are trying to push that box and your friends come and even they started pushing the box in the same direction would not it be a help for you it will be a great help for you is not it. So, now I will just show you something over here for that I need to clean this. <coughs> 